You're watching ABC 36 on your side. News at noon with Doug and Lisa High. Welcome back. The city of Lexington is excited to introduce a new project called Lex Grow Trees, a goal to make Lexington's tree population healthier and bigger. Here to tell us more about this project, Hannah Legree and Heather Wilson. Thank you so much for coming to the show, you guys. How's it going? It's going well. Yeah, Thanks thank for having you. us. Of thank course. Having Very us. excited to talk all things trees. So let's start with what is the goal here? Um, so I think we have multiple goals, but in okay. the beginning, uh, our, our overarching goal and uh, the Urban County Council gave us our $1.5 million was really to enhance, protect, and grow our urban tree canopy um, throughout Lexington for the benefit of all of our residents. That is fantastic. Yeah. And so what have y'all been doing with the grant that you were given? I mean, that was, that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. <laughs> Um, so we're doing a couple of different things, and there are lots of different ways for people to get involved. Um, we have a larger grant program that's going on right now, uh, and organizations and uh, neighborhood associations and for-profits can apply for this grant. So they can apply for up to $100,000 um, in order to educate people about the tree canopy, plant more trees, maintain the canopy, and to get other people in the community involved. So we're really encouraging collaboration and that grant application is going to be open through uh, April 26th so people still have time to apply um, okay. but, but then if they're not sure what they're going to do or they have ideas and they're not solidified we're going to be opening up another grant window in the fall y'all keep going so, so yes I love that. <laughs> that is fantastic yeah. so tell me Heather what is the benefit to tree canopies like what is this all about Sure. Um, tree canopy is vital to a healthy um, neighborhood, to a healthy community. Uh, trees, like most of us, I think, know, uh, provide us with so many benefits from reducing stormwater into our storm sewers to cleaning our air through the removal of pollutants from the air, through um, decreasing hospital stays for patients that have views of trees outside their window, to creating community where people can, you know, get together under tree canopy. Um, I don't know, trees give a place a sense of self and identity and Increasing tree canopy is really important for keeping our cities healthy um, economically, environmentally, and for human health, all, all together. To get. There's just so many benefits that I think people forget about that y'all are bringing awareness to, so thank you for doing that. Trees are fantastic. I love it. So what about a property owner who just wants trees for their yard? What can they do? Right, so we talked a little bit about organizations or these larger grants. If property owners think, well, I want trees in where I live, you know, or in a property that I own, they can go to www.lexgrowtrees.com and they can sign up to get a tree planted on their property. And um, we have some council districts that are really in high, high need um, when it comes mm -hmm. to tree planting. So those are districts um, one, two, and seven. So especially if people live in those districts, um, we really want them to sign up. And then we are going to organize for those plantings to occur. So we're going to assess uh, all of the um, input that we've gotten from our uh, constituents and, and figure out how we can get those plantings to happen and make sure that we have the right tree in the right place um, so that the, yeah. th the tree can thrive. Yes, absolutely. So what kind of trees are people going to be seeing around Lexington? Are there different trees that survive better here, or do we know that? We do know that. Okay, perfect. Um, Lexington really, like, we're kind of in this really great space for almost anything that can grow and oh, survive amazing. and do well. There are some stipulations based off of um, location on your property, um, but I'm hoping that we'll see a lot of shade trees. Um, that's really, again, important for all of those environmental benefits. The larger the trees we have, the more those environmental benefits we receive back. Um, I'm sure we'll see a lot of beautiful flowering trees. Right now, the red buds are blooming everywhere, and yes. they make spring. Uh, you know, it's kind of that harbinger for yeah. us. Um, so I don't know. Uh, it really depends on the property, where on that property the trees are going to be planted, um, and the numbers of trees. And there's a lot of professionals out there that are available and willing to work on this project um, and of course we're always available for consultations and for guidance with that too. That is great. Well Heather, Hannah, thank you so much for coming on the show and talking to us about Lex Grow Trees. Make sure y'all stay with us. We're gonna have more good high noon, sorry, after the break. <laughs> 